Walt Disney Home Video presents the story of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. This is Winnie the Pooh, a teddy bear who belongs to a boy named Christopher Robin. Pooh has many friends in the Hundred Acre Wood. One of them is a bouncy character with stripes. Hi, I'm Tigger, T-I-double-g-er. I know, said Pooh. You bounced me before. <laughs> Tigger likes to bounce on people. One day he saw Piglet sweeping some leaves into a pile. He gave Piglet a good bounce. Oh, oh the leaves went flying. Shucks, that's only a little bounce, said Tigger. I'm saving my best one for Rabbit. And Tigger bounded over to Rabbit's house. Rabbit was happily working in his vegetable garden when he heard Tigger coming. Oh, long ears! No, no, Tigger, don't bounce! But Rabbit couldn't stop Tigger's bounce. Oh. Rabbits went flying in all directions. Tigger, just look at my beautiful garden! wailed Rabbit. Yuck! Messy, isn't it? said Tigger. Messy? It's ruined! Oh, why don't you ever stop bouncing? Because bouncing is what Tiggers do best. Rabbit was so upset about his garden that he called a meeting at his house, which Pooh and Piglet attended. Uh, attention, everybody. Something has got to be done about Tigger's bouncing. Now, I have a splendid idea. We'll take Tigger for a long explore in the woods and lose him. And when we find him, he'll be a more grateful Tigger. And, oh, how can I ever thank you for saving me, Tigger? And we'll tell him to stop bouncing. So the next morning, the friends set out for the woods. Tigger bounced along in front of the others. Then, when Tigger wasn't looking, Rabbit, Pooh and Piglet hid in a hollow log. Tigger suddenly realized he was alone. Now, where do you suppose old Long Ears went to? Hello? Where are you, fellows? Gee, they must have gotten lost. And Tigger bounced off to find his friends. When Tigger had gone, the three friends came out of the hollow log. Rabbit snickered. You see, my splendid idea is working. Now we'll go and save Tigger. But as they walked on, they kept coming back to the same sand pit. Pooh, who was a bear of very little brain, said, That sand pit is following us. Maybe we are lost, Rabbit. Nonsense, Pooh. I know my way home. And Rabbit left to prove he could find his way home. After Rabbit had been gone a while, Pooh felt a rumbling in his tummy. I think my honey pots are calling to me. Come on, Piglet. My tummy knows the way home. Just then, who should appear but Tigger? He bounced Pooh and Piglet. <coughs> I thought you fellers were lost. Where's all Long Ears? It turned out that the only one who was really lost was Rabbit. All alone in the dense woods, he jumped at every sudden noise. Rabbit grew more and more afraid. There were so many strange shapes and sounds. Suddenly, he heard a familiar, Hello! This time, Rabbit was happy to be bounced by Tigger. He pretended that he hadn't been afraid. Oh, Tigger, I'm so glad to see you. Uh, we thought you were lost. Shucks, <laughs> Tiggers never get lost. And they all went back home. When winter came, the Hundred Acre Wood was covered with snow. Roo was so anxious to play with Tigger that his mother, Kanga, could barely get his scarf on. I'll take care of the little nipper and have him home by nap time, Tigger promised. And off they bounced because well, that's what Tiggers and Roos do best. They came to a beautiful frozen pond in front of Rabbit's house. There was Rabbit. Happily ice skating. Roo asked Tigger. Can Tigger skate as fancy as Mr. Rabbit? Sure, Roo. 
That's what diggers do best. But when Tigger ran onto the ice, he slipped and skidded right into Rabbit. And they all went crashing right through Rabbit's front door. Tigger grunted. Tiggers don't like ice skating. Tigger and Roo went farther into the hundred acre wood looking for something else Tiggers do best. Roo suggested... Let's climb a tree, Tigger. Tiggers don't climb trees. They bounce them. So Tigger and Roo bounced way up to the top of a tall tree. In fact, they almost bounced clear out of the book. Suddenly, Tigger realized how far down the ground was. He was terrified. Roo, however, thought this was great fun. He swung back and forth, holding on to Tigger's tail. Whee! <laughs> Stop, kid! S-T-O-P! You're rocking the forest! Over on this page, Pooh and Piglet were following some tracks in the snow. Piglet asked what they were tracking. Pooh replied, I won't know until I catch up with it. Just then, Pooh and Piglet heard a sound in the distance. Hello! Pooh didn't know that it was Tigger calling for help. I hope it isn't a fierce jaguar, because they halloo and then drop on you. But it wasn't a jaguar. It was only Tigger and Roo up in the tree. Pooh looked up. Are you all right, Roo? I'm all right, but Tigger's stuck. How did you and Tigger get way up there? We bounced up. Well then, why don't you bounce down? Pooh is very smart for a bear of very little brain. And so Roo bounced down. <coughs> but Tigger was still too afraid to jump that far. You see, Tigger, all your bouncing has finally gotten you in trouble. Who are you? I'm the narrator. Oh, well, narrate me down from here. If you do, I promise I'll never bounce again. So I turned the book sideways, and Tigger slid right down the block of type. He landed safely on the ground. Tigger was mighty glad to be out of that tree, and on solid ground again. I'm so happy, I feel like bouncing. Immediately, Rabbit stepped up. No, Tigger, you promised. You mean... Not even one teensy-weensy bounce. Tigger was very, very sad. He turned and walked away. Roo tugged at Kanga's arm. Mama, I like the old bouncy Tigger best. Everyone said that they too liked the old Tigger best. Yes, even Rabbit. So they agreed to let Tigger have his bounce back, and he leaped for joy. After all, a Tigger without his bounce is no Tigger. At all. <laughs>